Hi, I'm Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. I'm doing a new Chinese name chop for Jenny Newcomb. Uh, first, we need to translate her name. This one is uh, G Jin, uh, J I N in Chinese or G G I N. The sound uh, in Chinese could be translated as uh, gold or golden and uh, ni in Chinese there's a common uh, female name meaning go so golden go this character pronounced as Jing in Chinese, um, Jing Li, Jing Li, meaning golden girl. And uh, the last name I translated as a common uh, Chinese surname, Liu. It also has a radical with gold, uh, golden ra radical in it. So together, uh, it will be Liu Jing Li. The signature, you can just uh, do the first name um, like this Jing Li in grass style or cursive style. Now uh, trace this uh, computer designed seal for this uh, stone. It's a natural shaped stone. Uh, it shows uh, actually the Changhua stone. Nice uh, pattern, you know, very natural shape and a colored stone. We. Um, I have designed this more in a, a decorative style. And Jingyi uh, requested to do the positive or uh, yang carving, so the character would be red. This joke is too very thin. Made these two dots into an auspicious, uh, uh, auspicious cloud. Now uh, we turn the design backward and uh, put in the ink side facing the stone. So um, I covered the copy paper on the stone uh, with the, the front side facing the stone, the ink side facing the stone. So now you can see the mirror image. And uh, now I use a dampened rice paper to press it. So it will give a little moisture, not too much, just enough to um, 
dampen this uh, this uh, copy paper. Now using another uh, piece of dry rice paper to cover it and then press uh, rubbing with uh, your fingernail. I usually use uh, so press or rubbing with uh, pebble stone to um, transfer the ink onto the stone. You can see a, uh, a copy is made. Uh, you can then use a marker pen to trace it. It make a, the writing of a mirror image much easier. So I made this uh, um, enhancement with a marker pens. First of all, I draw this circle based on the stone uh, margin and uh, uh, trace the design with a permanent marker so it will not uh, be erased when I carve. I'm now ready to carve to start I use uh, I carve some uh, you know on the background to test the stone to get a feeling. Um, if you recall I uh, did a last stone in a very rough uh, style um, but this one is more um, for a decorative delicate style. So I use different uh, ways of carving, you will notice. The smooth stroke. So I cut along the line with the knife, you know, the smooth side along the line, the coarse side on the outside, leaving the stroke in black or red on the stamp. You can cut a smooth line along the along the uh, stroke, and then uh, just get rid of the background. Another side, same thing. Cut along the line. You can uh, take another cut if not enough. And the other side. to the corner, be careful. So don't 
on our cut. Uh, I usually cut the outside of the circle. So after I cut the outer shape of those uh, circles, uh, or little squares, I do the inside. You can turn the stone. Triangle Fine polishing later, so just uh, keep doing this. The second character is the Jin or gold. I made some variation from this uh, uh, radical Jin in the in the last name Liu. You can still see they're similar. Dots uh, in the character golden, uh, more decorative. And, uh, I'll speak here's uh, cloth shape to match those uh, 
little circles uh, in other two characters. Now we are done to the last character, girl. I use my ring finger and small finger as brick. You see when I push my knife, there is a resistant force, so I use both pushing and resist to control the knife. Some stone part has sand in it, you can use that. We use cut to overcome that sort of pushing.
I'm doing the uh, female radical and the character girl. The other half is the sun. This half indicates the female. This seal has a lot of uh, uh, sections with uh, the square, or triangle, or circles. important to keep the continuity of stroke, although we cannot carve one stroke at a time, so you need to consider that. Almost there's some background here. The next thing I'm going to make a first uh, test stand, see how it looks like. This is the computer design, and here comes the actual stand. Pretty close. Huh? So all I need to do is uh, take rid of uh, uh, some uh, extra dots. I have made some uh, changes, uh, polishing 
adjustment. I'm making another stamp right now. Not as much refined, right? And we can um, keep polishing until it reaches the uh, desired effect. Okay. If you need uh, your personalized name seal or mood seal, please go to my website, blueheronarts.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.